people, how's it going? Today, as you saw in the title, I am styling overalls. These are a staple wardrobe piece. I have two pairs, one is skirt alls and one is like regular pants overalls, and I wear them both all the time. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to style them today. Let's get into it. So the first half of the video will be outfits with these black overalls and then the second half will be with my light wash denim skirt alls. For the first outfit I just went really simple, really classic, this is a timelessly cute way to style overalls anyone can recreate. We just have a simple striped t-shirt under, truly any t-shirt works for this, and then Doc Martens or any lace up boots for shoes to go with the workwear vibes of the overalls. This is a super versatile outfit for running errands, grabbing food, shopping, hanging out with friends, pretty much any casual setting. Next up, I wanted to show how I would style a funky button-up with overalls, and this is our like quirky artsy look. We have this purple patterned button-up and then a bucket hat and converse for a fun, playful vibe. I also added on these retro flower earrings that I think add a nice warmth to this mostly cool-toned outfit, and again, just reinforce the fun, childlike energy. And now, I kind of look like I'm ready for my first day of kindergarten, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, this next outfit feels like more of a sporty street style look. It's giving model off duty to me. I feel like people who follow like the model high end fashion world might roast me for that, but it's fine. Uh, we have the baseball cap and white sneakers, very casual, sporty chic, and then this green turtleneck because it matches the baseball cap and turtlenecks are another great option to style with overalls. That said, this athletic street style type look would also work great with a t-shirt or hoodie underneath, so you have different options for different climates or different weather. Alright, now we are onto a little hot weather bralette moment, which is another super cute way to wear overalls. I like that for this look, the more revealing bralette is balanced out with the baggier, fuller coverage overalls. It's a fun juxtaposition. For this outfit, I also put my hair up with an orange claw clip that matches the bralette pretty perfectly. And then for shoes, I just went with some basic sandals. This is so simple, but because it's not the most common outfit, it still feels kind of cool and unique and a little more styled. Okay, this next look is giving like chic Parisian artist, but also 1800s child chimney sweep. Not gonna try to explain that, it's just the vibe. I like that this outfit is both chic and playful with this graphic tank top, little neck scarf, and the key element here, the belted waist. Honestly, I had never thought of wearing a belt with baggy overalls until making this video, but I think it looks so flattering and so stylish, and now I'm in love with it. Highly recommend, I will be wearing it this way regularly from now on. For our last look, with this pair of overalls, we have a more dressed up, dare I say, office appropriate overalls look? I don't really know if that's possible with overalls, but if it is, this outfit is it. Once again, the belted waist really elevates the casual overalls, plus this time we also have these heeled black ankle boots. Then for the top, I went with this really beautiful floral wrap blouse, which I have struggled to style so much just because I think the length of the shirt on its own is not super flattering on me, but I think layering it under something like overalls is the perfect solution. Overalls in general are a great way to hide the bottom of a shirt, so if you want to like style a crop top more modestly or hide a peplum or anything, great hack. Alright, now we are onto our skirt all outfits, and for this pair's first look, I also wanted to start off super simple, so I just went with a plain black high neck tank top, black accessories, and some gold jewelry. This is another look that is quite basic, but again, that makes it really easy to recreate. If you have some gold jewelry, black shoes, and a black tank top, you can make this look. I also specifically chose a high cut on all the tank tops in this video because I think that pairs best with overalls so you don't just look topless. Although, that's also kind of a look, honestly, so do you. Next up, we have our super soft Ghibli vibes frolicking in a field of wildflowers outfit. For this look, I chose this girly white puff sleeve blouse and nude mules, which also have a simple yet feminine touch. And then to bring out more of the countryside energy that I wanted for this look, I added this beautiful woven sun hat and woven bag. This outfit makes me feel so adorable. I just want to wear it to go get some locally grown fruit from the farmer's market and then eat it at a little picnic in a grassy field. 
now we are onto our like trendy bold Pinterest girl outfit. So for this one, I tried to bring a lot of trendier elements into the look like the zebra print top, the platform sandals, the claw clip, the thinner sunglasses. Pretty much everything here is a Pinteresty trendy item to some degree. I also feel like I usually see this type of look styled with a lot of color, so I tried to bring that in through the earrings, which is a small touch, but they're so bright, I think it makes a big difference. And since filming this, I've actually worn this outfit multiple times. It's one of my new favorites. This next look is a little different, not something I usually see for overalls, but just as a fun little challenge for myself, I wanted to try to make them preppy. I started with this white baby tee, and I feel like matching colors in general are a common preppy style choice, especially blue and white, so I chose to match my cardigan, shoes, and sunglasses with the established blue and white palette. The pearl earrings and cardigan over the shoulders really drive home the snobby country club aesthetic, which... I feel like I could make a whole video about the rise of this previously scorned look as a popular trend in 2021, but that's a topic for another time. I think it's fun, I think it's cute, and the overalls integrate decently into this look, I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think this works or not. This look was intended to show how you can style an oversized button-up as a layering piece on top of overalls, but let's be honest, the cowboy shirt is stealing the show here a little bit. For shoes on this one, I chose Converse, and overall, I'm not really sure what this aesthetic is. It's like kind of western, kind of grungy high schooler. The point is, it's another option for overalls, and I like it. But if you have any sort of name for this aesthetic, please drop it in the comments. I am dying to hear your thoughts. Alright, this final look is my favorite in the whole video, I think. It's giving me edgy indie artist. I just love the unexpected combo of the black mesh top with these light wash overalls. All the sort of sharper, darker elements of this look, like the chunky black heeled boots and the silver cicada earrings, are just such a visually interesting juxtaposition with the overalls themselves. This look just makes me feel so good and very cool, and at the end of the day, isn't that what fashion's all about? All right, those were all my overall outfits. I hope you liked them and you got some inspiration out of them. I need to get more pairs is what I concluded from this video. I really want like white or off-white overalls. I feel like I've seen a lot of those and I just love how they look. Anyway, let me know if this was helpful to you. If you wanna support me, give me a comment or a like and subscribe if you wanna see more of me. I need to stop. I've been filming for a long time at this point. I filmed multiple videos today and I'm tired. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!